And most people get the MMR vaccine when they're kids, two doses. But what can someone do mm -hmm. if they're not sure about their vaccination status, their vaccination history? Yeah, a couple of things you can do. You can check with your healthcare provider if you remember who your pediatrician was, uh, or if you're a parent, check with the pediatrician. Uh, you can um, look at school records because children are supposed to have had that second dose of MMR before they enter school. Now we do have exemptions in Texas. Um, but also if you're really not sure, you can have your antibody levels tested with a blood test to tell whether you're immune or not. And can adults get the vaccine? I know we're talking about these measles cases that we're seeing are in children, but can adults get the vaccinations if they're not vaccinated for some reason? Yes, absolutely. And in fact, there's a category of adults where it is recommended that they at least talk to their healthcare provider about getting a booster dose. Booster doses are not universally recommended, but if you were born after 1957, and the reason that year is picked is because anyone born 1957 or earlier, it's just assumed you are immune because measles was so widespread, basically every child got it. So if you were born after 1957, and you received the measles vaccine before 1968, we had a different vaccine then, it didn't work very well. And so born after 1957, got the vaccine somewhere between when you were, well, 1963 is when it came out. So sometime between 1963 and 1968, again, talk to your healthcare provider about getting a booster. So doctor, correct me if I'm wrong here, but vaccinations for measles, mumps, and rubella don't, uh, don't start until the child is at least 12 months old. So how can parents protect their babies until then? This question hits sort of close to home. I have, my wife is expecting a baby in a, in a few weeks, you know, in April. So what can parents in that situation do? Yeah, um, so when babies are born, they have antibodies from their mother. This isn't just for measles, this is for whatever the mom has, those antibodies go through the placenta and protect the baby for about six months. Now it's not, you know, it's six months in one day, all of a sudden they're not there, but in general, six months. So assuming the mother is vaccinated or had measles and therefore immune, the baby should be protected for six months. The problem comes that we really can't vaccinate or shouldn't vaccinate babies with the MMR before nine months. Usually we do it at 12 months, you're correct, but in outbreak situations, you can do it at nine months. It's at six months to nine months where you wanna be really careful about where you're taking your baby. Um, if you are, if you have family, for example, in West Texas and you wanna go visit, maybe that isn't the time to go. Um, and um, so, you know, unless it's essential travel, uh, avoid outbreak areas. Now it's harder if you are, live in an outbreak area um, and you just have to do the best you can to isolate the baby um, until they can be vaccinated. So we're seeing a rise in vaccine hesitancy across the country. Uh, for parents who are hesitant about the MMR vaccine, what would you say to reassure them to, to get this? Um, yeah, this is a very safe, it's been around since 1968, very safe, very effective vaccine. Now I know that there is misinformation out there, including a fraudulent, unethical, retracted, disproved in many, many other studies um, paper that was published in 1999, Andrew Wakefield, um, showing a purported association between MMR and the measles vaccine in particular with autism. That is simply not true. And as we are seeing right now, measles is not a benign disease and you can protect your child by vaccinating. And you're not just protecting your child. Not every child can be vaccinated. If your child has leukemia, for example, they can't be vaccinated. They depend on the community to protect them so that enough people around them, it's, it, they're cocooned by immune people so the virus can't spread and infect this child with leukemia, for example. So uh, again, talk to your healthcare provider, but there, is a lot of data, um, information that this is a safe, effective vaccine.